Hey everybody, Saul Marquez with the Outcomes Rocket. I want to welcome you back to another episode. We're here at the Becker's Melt IT and RCM conference, and I am with Dave Blanchard from Fathom. Dave, thanks for being with us today. How do you feel? That's all. So, Dave, tell us a little bit about the work that Fathom does and how you serve the healthcare ecosystem. Yeah, you bet. So we work in coding automation. We use deep learning AI to solve some of the issues we're seeing across provider organizations with staffing, cost reduction goals, overall uh, strategy towards automation in general. So we use deep learning AI to provide coding and essentially look like a superhuman coder behind the scenes. We'll integrate with the EHR before things hit the human, hit human coding queue. We're going through a performing coding, typically about 80 to 95% of the volume straight through the bill opening up some uh, kind of elbow room for folks to be able to, to cover some of the denial management, education opportunities, and really improve documentation for better overall reimbursement outcomes in their care. Sounds great. It sounds like you guys are eliminating a lot for the granular wars. Thank you. And you're using deep learning and AI, which has been, you know, at the forefront of a lot of discussions here. Yeah. Dave, what, what insight has sort of bubbled up to the top for you uh, out of this conference, that the structures that you feel like the audience get nervous. Yeah, you bet. So a couple of consistent questions we're seeing is a lot of health systems dealing with how to get their arms around an automation strategy, uh, trying to understand what are the criteria they should be using to evaluate whether or not a solution is viable and are the impacts of their organization really going to be able to happen and can they do that? Is it a partnership that's going to make sense? Um, so we've seen a lot of that. We have a good track record. Fathom's been around about seven years. We have great clients in the space. Uh, so that's one big piece of it. Another piece are staffing challenges. I think everyone is trying to cover the basis of increasingly complicated coding guidelines and kind of nuanced guidelines that they're dealing with. It's difficult to staff that space, especially with the average age of coders kind of heading out of the market, right? We've seen other set of uh, factors in the market. I mean, when ICD-9 and ICD-10 happened, we saw a lot of coders leave the market. COVID drove a lot of people out of the market. Uh, and so people are dealing with that, where the skill set needed to really be able to accomplish meaningful coding and the other supporting elements around that, it's difficult. So being able to automate some of that makes a big difference. Yeah, no, great, great call outs. That automation strategy, the, the, the plan that you're going to have with all the staffing shortages that really goes from nursing to the coding staff. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a big gap. And it sounds like you guys are addressing a lot of that. Look, I, I, I can't thank you enough for, for sharing what you guys do here. It's what place can they reach out to you to learn more about the work that you and Fathom Center up? Yeah, you bet. I appreciate that. Uh, find us on fathomhealth.com. Uh, we're based in San Francisco. We're out at just about every revenue cycle conference. You can imagine having great conversations. With crew. So don't hesitate to swing by a booth if you see us. But we'd love to hear from you on our website. Uh, a couple of options there to sign up for a time to chat have a meeting and, and really get together uh, and really discuss. I mean, really where we start with this is, hey, let's have a conversation. Is this a fit for your organization? What is it really gonna take? And what can Fathom really do? Do you wanna be transparent about that? Or doing exciting things and love talking about it. That's awesome, Dave. We can't thank you enough. And folks, as I always mention, you've gotta take action. If today Dave inspired you to do something about some of the challenges on your plate, Take action and do it because that's how you get better outcomes in your business process as well as in patient outcomes. And Dave, I can't thank you enough for being with me and taking action by sharing your story. You bet. Thanks for that. Thanks all.